Manja. It is Italian Heritage Month. I am excited for it. Obviously, I have a rich Italian heritage. Uh, so do so many people in our community, including Lucy or Lucia, if we want to go back to how your family would pronounce it. So you are with the Italian American Club here, and, and certainly you all have a lot of fun. Yes, we do. <laughs> well, I like to consider myself an adopted Italian family member. I don't actually have it in me, but boy, do I love pasta, gnocchi, sauce. You put it in front of me, I will eat it all. Well, we always say there's only two kinds of people, Italians and people that want to be Italian. <laughs> I'll <laughs> right? put that on me. I'll put <laughs> that on go. me for sure. <laughs> there you go. So, look, we are going to talk about one of my favorite dishes, and I, I know that you want to give some of Mima's secrets out to yes. our viewers here. <laughs> I know it's tough. We had to twist your arm for it. But this is a potato-based pasta, and oh, oh, so good. Yes. Well, gnocchi is a very old dish, and it goes back to the Roman times, and they made it without the potatoes. It was just basically like a flour uh -huh. uh, dumpling, uh -huh. so, sort of, rather than a pasta. So in the 1600s, when uh, potatoes were introduced to Italy, they go, oh, let's add the potatoes. And so now there are many kinds of gnocchi. This is a basic recipe with the potato and flour, but you can have it with spinach, you can have it with um, uh, sweet potatoes. I love and the sweet potato for one. for now, this season, you can add pumpkin. Oh, oh my gosh. I love that. Look at that, that's creative. This is the traditional one. So Where show us you what you start? got here. Okay, so to make it, very simple recipe, this six unpeeled potatoes. So you want to boil them in their jackets and then peel them and either put them through a potato ricer or mash them, whichever. In fact, you can use leftover mashed potatoes for this recipe. Uh, does it matter what kind of potato you're using? Yeah, a starchy potato. Okay. And these red potatoes are the best to do that. Uh, then you want to have two eggs that you're going to slightly beat, not whip, but just mix together lightly with salt and pepper. And you add two tablespoons of olive oil and then you begin to mix it with flour. So you mix the, the potatoes and your other mixture and slightly, slowly add regular flour, not self-rising, but regular flour. Mm -hmm. And you keep mixing it together till you get a nice dough. What is, I need to know, what is your olive oil? What, do you have a specific it's brand? extra virgin olive oil, as long as it's the extra virgin. Okay. Uh, okay. Make e -O -O. sure it says E-V-O-O. -O. Uh -huh. you're, you're on it. Hey, hey, family <laughs> okay. taught me well. <laughs> okay, so then after you get your dough. Some would say that I'm needy, so I can help. <laughs> okay. okay, so then you're gonna make ropes and you roll them out kind of like a snake. Why don't okay. you try that? Yeah, 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 let's do it. I'm a really good supervisor. Okay. Thank you, yeah, she's, okay. So, so how, what consistency, consistency should it be? Okay, you don't want it sticky, but you don't want it too dry. And the main thing with making yucky, or yucky as my grandkids call it. Yucky. Yucky, <laughs> which means little knots in little Italian, knots, okay. little knots, that's basically what they are. Uh, is that you do not want to knead the dough a lot because mm. the more you knead it, the drier it gets and ah. then the gnocchi get heavy when you cook them. Okay, so, so, so after you've made up. your yeah. little your little ropes, your little snakes, you're gonna cut them into about one inch okay. pieces. Be careful, that's a sharp knife. Right. That is a sharp knife, without yeah. a doubt. Come on, Vic, you can go faster than oh, that. You're on it. Look at it. talking about how sharp oh, it is. God. He's really good we with a knife. It. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now, now we got it. Since this is really a, a dumpling, you can cook it just like that in boiling water. Mm -hmm. But we want to get fancy. Yeah, we do. So we do. you can make a little indentation, or you could do them on the fork, which is the fun way to do it. So we're going to okay. get your fork with a little bit of flour. I'll do one for you. Okay, you're going to take the gnocchi and you push it down the tines of the fork mm. until it makes like a little ridge. Mm. There you go, you wanna try yeah, that? Sure, absolutely. And while you're doing it, can you talk about the Italian American Club here? Cause there's gonna be some people that wanna, wanna get involved. I, I did that wrong, I'm sorry. Okay, you're gonna no, go down the, down the fork yeah, right You now. can reset it. <laughs> sure, it's dough, you can <laughs> redo it. That's the fun part. So the Italian American Club is really exciting right now because we're celebrating our 70th anniversary. 
My parents, in fact, were charter members. Many years ago, I grew up in the Italian American Club. My husband, Mario, was president a few years ago. And so we are very involved in it. It is basically a ethnic and cultural organization. In fact, the longest running ethnic organization in Jacksonville. Really? Yes. And, and so- Am uh, I allowed to break into this? Because sure. we're running out of time here. Okay, Look at this, this finished the product finished right product here. This is product for you guys to From have later. Mario and Lucio, do we have to have it later? No, you can have it right <laughs> now. And uh, I put a pesto sauce oh my on gosh. it. But uh, that's what mm. most Italians use is mm. pesto. So you can use a marinara sauce. That's a more. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It's that amazing. <laughs> all right. You did I all know that, by him. that everyone's going to want to make this, including Vic at home. So don't worry. We have the recipe right now. Newsforjacks.com. Vic's going to have a whole class at home. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Thank you so thank much you. for joining us. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Ciao. It was fun. Appreciate ciao, ciao. <laughs> manja, manja. Mm.